Hey guys, I'm Trombley here from the Miguel Hockey Team. So as part of the campaign to help fundraise for the Black Youth Hockey Program in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, I wanted to share this interview I made with a past teammate that is outside of the Black community. Because at the end of the day, hockey is for everyone and other communities are also affected. So I invited my friend, uh, Chuitan Blacksmith from Moswanipi, Quebec, uh, Cree community. And he's going to share a bit of his story with us. Um, enjoy. My name is Chuitan Blacksmith. I'm from Moswanipi, Quebec, and currently going to school at Carleton University while playing for the men's hockey team. Well, growing up, uh, challenges I faced was being away from home uh, majority of the time. I went to Sudbury from grade four to grade nine, uh, all during the school year, but went home for the holidays in the summer. But it's, that was definitely one of the biggest challenges, just missing home all the time and being away from friends and family. Uh, I guess another one is uh, majority of my life, I was uh, like one of the only like Aboriginal players on my hockey team. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was just, just, just a little different. But uh, it was I, I didn't see that as a, like a challenge. All all depends on which team I was playing with. Uh, but okay. I guess definitely being away from home for me is the toughest one toughest okay one. and and through 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 that through those teams did you feel um you were disadvantaged in like in some ways or feel any injustice while while growing up playing hockey uh personally at a younger age i didn't really see any okay uh, but like maybe growing up maybe it was just my mind that thought that some i always felt like i was a little disadvantaged at times but I, okay. i'd say majority of it was not like I was never really like, like purposely disadvantaged okay. because of uh, being Aboriginal. So. Right now, it's definitely COVID because we have uh, no season this year. Uh, it's yeah. been official like, last week. But uh, I guess really, like school's getting tougher and hockey's getting, um, hockey's like, involved a lot in our schedule over the weekends so mixing school and hockey is tough but uh it's something that we've been i've been doing ever since i was a kid along with every other hockey player but uh i i, I still I, I think that's my uh my biggest obstacle is just trying to maintain good grades for me and try to uh, maintain my good fitness for the hockey yeah yeah of course and um what is uh what is your greatest hockey memory? Uh, my greatest hockey memory would have to be uh, my uh, my last year junior when I played with the uh, OJS here in Ottawa Junior A team. Mm -hmm. uh, we had uh, we won our league and then we won our Fred Page Cup to advance to nationals. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't win there, but it was still one of the greatest experiences uh, of my life winning those two championships with, uh, with the Ottawa Junior Senators. Oh, that's awesome. I'd say just battle through it because uh, everything happens for a reason, and uh, at the end of the road is is a is like a pretty nice picture. I, I'm not even close to the end of the road for me, I think. But uh, just just focus on uh, hockey more and uh, focus on the friends, mostly on the positive side. If anything negative happens, try to avoid that and ignore it, and then focus more on the positive. Cool, cool. And any uh, any advice on maybe. Uh, young players who come from the same community as you that they might uh for my case most like most uh young players uh try to move like aren't able to move away from home because they mm -hmm. uh, they miss it and they just go back and play uh, in my community but uh that i'd say that's definitely something they have to battle through if they want to like try to go far in hockey um just it's just like hockey is a little more competitive outside the community and it's a little more serious i'd say mm -hmm. and uh that, that's the toughest thing you have to get through is just being away from home and uh enjoy the year but uh it's worth it for sure